Welcome to Risk Live. I'm a grandmaster at this game. Just trying to have some fun and see if we can get a little bit better while we're at it. We're playing our Novice to Grandmaster series. This is game 32. We come into this with a record of 23 and 8. We are ranked master with 20,123 rank points. We're in the third position. So we're, we're ranking up exclusively on Risk Auto Match games, which means classic fixed. World Domination. Alright. Let's make some ally requests. We might have a shot here at South America. Black is in here, though. And they go before us. So we get to see what they may want to do. Pink added here. So we need to get out of here for sure. We've got this five that we can pull into here on our turn. So I think we're going to bully black out of here, even if black puts in here. By bringing this five around. I'm not going to fight for this. White can have Australia. Black's going to hit my three. No, Black's just going to stack in there. Hmm. Hmm. Black goes before me. So if he, if we want to fight over it, he can get trades... He may get a big trade before us, which would really screw us. I suppose I can try and clear out. Like, my preference is not to get in a, a battle with somebody. Because I don't have to have it. It looks like pink wants Africa, and I'm okay with that. I can come up here and get Europe. I can get Europe pretty easy. But that means my five, I can't pull my five over. Because I got to worry about getting troops out of here. Let's get our take here. And we'll clear out. Maybe black will accept our alliance request. So white is going to have positions over here in North America and take Australia. That'll be good for them. Because this is kind of crowded. Nobody's, nobody else is going to try and take North America, I don't think. So if black gives me one more turn, I can get out of here. He's probably trying to decide whether to try to take it now or not. He hasn't accepted my alliance request. Or she. They haven't accepted my alliance request.
And if they bot out here, I'm screwed because the bot will hit me. Nice. Well played. Well played. Okay, our take. Our take is going to be here. And then pull out this way. Now I need to take here. Black's, pink's gonna have to let black move through. Well, doesn't have to. Pink should let black move through, but black can't do it until their next turn. That would help me out by getting black out of my area. Yeah, go ahead, attack it. I don't care. I'm gonna lose it anyways. If you wanna weaken yourself, so be it. He actually got good rolls. So it made sense for him to take it. What did he attack that with? Seven on three, hundred percent, and he only lost one. Lucky dog. Pink may not allow black to get through him. Pink might attack that and pull back though. Okay, pink's gonna get the take somewhere else. Well played, well played. Maybe he, that was weird. That was not a good move. Maybe he gets this three out of my, out of my bonus. He just trying to get extra territory now? Like fortify that out of there. Save it for another turn. There you go. And I will be out of your hair on the next turn. I think we'll move this up and I gotta pull this out. He's gonna come down here, which I'm gonna have to retake with this five. Not ideal, not ideal, but workable. So, pink can take their bonus. Tell them they can attack my territory. Just to let them know, take the bonus. And he can come through me if he needs to, too. So, he could add here. Boom, boom. Pull this up. He's got a decent guard. Fortify into it. Might present a threat to black. You would take Europe. Yeah, we didn't really have... I mean, I could have fought black for that, but I'd rather not. And black had the opportunity to go before us. Had I gone before black, I would have definitely moved my troops in there to take South America first. But we can win from Europe, even if we don't take Europe as a bonus, as long as we get some decent cards, which we have a big set. So we've been getting lucky with cards lately. I'm on like, what, a four game win winning streak? And the cards have just been incredible during this run. We actually got second on one game that we almost won. Otherwise it would be a 10 game winning streak. <laughs> so we've won nine out of the last 10 on these settings. Pink didn't take their bonus up with that that works good for me because now i can bring my five through without having to attack with it i can attack with my four
Pink doesn't want to be. Pink doesn't want to. Pink wants to wait till their trade. They don't want to be next to black with this bonus and be a threat to black. I think that's what what was going on right there. So, I can't get to any of these territories to get my bonus troops. So I think we wait. We're not at risk of dying. And we're not going to take the bonus, so we're not going to be a threat to anybody. We get a card. Hmm. I can't really get to that one. So we could wait for five cards to trade in. I don't know if I want to do that. I'll probably just have to take the trade. You're good. Now stack up on black. Let's <laughs> see, bring the five in to here or here. He comes all the way down. Now black should see this as a threat. Because pink has this border militarized. Black doesn't have a trade. So he matches. We're going to have an arms race here. Black wants to hold more than 12 territories. That's why he's expanding so much over here. If these two go at it, we're going to be in a position to clean up behind it. Let's see if white spends some more getting uh, North America. what I expected fortifies to the seven yes he's got a he's got an attack army it's not open to this but it can clean up North America and I'm gonna get out of North America here White is really strong here in this game. Having gotten that, that bonus early, it was definitely worthwhile for him to get it early. He must have had a really good spawn there that I was 
Now there just wasn't much resistance either. I think he was what spawned with five, five or six, and there was five that he had to attack. He got good rolls. Yeah, that explains it too. So black and pink continue. Oh, black skin, just black blast pink with this. No, he just wants to take the lead in that arms race. And black gets out of North America. So white is going to have North America if they decide to take it on the next turn. But that would be a bad move. <laughs> that would be a threat to the rest of the uh, to the rest of the field if white has those two bonuses. If he gives up one of them, that's another story. So you can always upgrade your bonus. If you want to take another one, you give up, make it so that people can attack that one, and you don't take it personally. So I'm still going slow because I don't want to be the threat in this game. White is clearly the, the leader. Black right behind him, actually. And white's taking black under 12 territories with these attacks. Hmm, not quite. Not quite. There it is. So white takes black under 12 territories with that move. Black's got a stack here, so that's why white's not taking this. Because white can't defend North America. White now on 15 territories. So we'll see what black does to knock him under 12. He's going to lose these two in Europe. Pink's going to take one. I'm going to take the other. I don't think I'm going to take the bonus again yet. Although pink, white's cap, white's stack is blocked off to us on this side. This one can come up and break us. Maybe I can hold my bonus, though. You never know if they'll let you keep your bonus if you don't try, right? We can always lock our stack right here. And that, so it's a th it'll be a threat stack. There to retaliate. But if somebody wants to break us, it's a cheap break. Wow, white gets a great roll. Attacking a seven on four. It's not even a hundred percent roll. No trade. We're going to go to five cards. Do we get to hold our bonus? Black's not allied with us. Black might decide to break us. In which case, I stack here. Hey, how's it going, Sue? Black doesn't break us. Good. 
Oh, he does not get a card. He should not have attacked that stack. He'd take the 100% roll, buddy. Take the 100% roll. White is on 14. I can't knock him under, so we're not going to worry about it. It's good. It's going good. Having some fun, playing some risk. White takes black out of Asia. That is what you want to do. His next move, White's next move, is to card block him in South America, force him to hit pink if he wants a card. White's going to have a little harder time with that. Well, we get the cannon trade. We don't own any of those territories. I should have... I should have taken that one. I forgot to look. And see what cards I needed to take. Pink looking strong. Just a little bit behind white. Black has fallen behind because he's been getting hit, knocked out of here. Pink's in a pretty good position, except for this arms race with black. Like, this is gonna this is gonna heat up unless black moves up. Which is which is really what black should do. Black should take off take the heat off here, move it up here. Because white has shown some aggression towards him. If he moves up, stacks it, one stack, and then moves it all into there. It takes the pressure off of pink, allows pink to point those troops at somebody else. Black trying to knock white down a little bit. and take some more territory for himself. No. He would have hit white here if he was paying attention to what white was sitting on. Hmm. Okay. I think we still take the... Well, white pink's going to take that one from me. I can't sit and hold that. I think we just move up, right? I think we move up, sit this army up here. No. No, we're going to do this. I'm going to... I guess I'm the troop leader now. Well, White's going to go back into the lead as soon as he trades in here. But I'm catching up, and I'm going to be the troop leader soon. So with my stacks locked, I'm not going to appear threatening. <laughs> Which is where I want to be at the moment. We've got a little tension brewing between white and black with as many territories as white's been hitting of black. And now white has trapped his stack. 
It can only attack one territory. That's an interesting choice. Because 42 is active, but it can only hit me and pink. It can't hit black. Sue, you love playing Risk. Played today two games, one two. You're at 9.8. Nice! Congratulations. It's always fun to win this game. Always fun to win. It's even fun if you can't win, as long as it was a good game. Does black open the 24? If he attacks... No, he doesn't open it. Okay, so black... Not making dumb moves. Except for this one. There's no reason to have this arms race right here. Because it's going to boil over. One of them is going to hit the other one. And get the attacker's advantage. It's bound to happen. Yeah, it's all about negotiations there, huh? Um, where do we get our take? We are going to get our take. Now, if I do it there, I can't pull back. Pink is almost... Let's take it from black. Pink getting an extra card from holding on to territory. And now he's got one big attack stack. He is now in position to take advantage if this boils over. I am not in a position to take advantage if it boils over. So I need to get this stack parked right here. But if I move that stack here, somebody is going to consider it a threat. I need red to have a decent amount of troops here. Or, I mean, I need pink to have a decent amount of troops here. That way, if white wants to break me, he's got to hit through that to get to me. Pink's down here. He needs these troops here. But he doesn't want white going through him either. Not a small stack anyways. We have a big trade, but we don't own the territory for bonus troops. So I think we hold it. Can I even get to any of them? I can get to this one, but it makes it seem threatening. Oh, we'll take that one. We'll take that one. I don't want it to be a threat to black, so I'll just leave a few troops there. That's the plan. Oh, if I hit white, it'll knock white under 12 territories. But I need this one. So that's what we're going to do. So black's still locked up. We could we could card block black in here. But an aggressive move like that, black would move his troops in and potentially go all in against you 
and then you lose. Oh, white. Going for Asia? Or going for a kill? Just blast the six stack. Interesting choice. Leaves me behind. So forcing orange to break me. Or I mean, forcing pink to break me or go after black. Hmm. That's a, that was a bold move by white. I'm going to lose my bonus. I don't like that move by white. I'm going to have to come up and take North America. I think that's our play. I come take North America. I could stack against black. Yep. White is doing what the Australia player should do. Because <laughs> if he just keeps waiting around, he's going to end up making less than me and eventually less than Africa as well. Ooh, pink wants to... No, pink's just indicating move it or lose it. Pink is indicating move it or lose it. Oh, he's hitting. He's hitting. He's going to hit a little bit. I like that. So after this, pink should pull this 46 onto this 20. It'll be... It'll be big enough. Oh, he's not going to do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. All right. That was a good move. I appreciate pink doing that, not breaking me. I gotta give that one up. Oh, I do have India. I still have to give that up. Oh well. Oh well. What do we do? What do we do? I'm gonna have to activate my stack this direction, right? That's gotta be the play. Could take Australia. Park my troops there. But we'll do that after we get broke here. We'll do that after we get broke here. White's going to break me, or else pull back. Oh! Does he break me also? Does he make two enemies? Wow! Wow! Black gets the kill on pink, because pink goes before black does. And black gets the kill on white. Good thing I activated my troops. Did white just give up? No, he's still here. I'm going to get broken either way. Black's going to hit, kill, 
probably slam into me, but his 26 will be locked up. His 26 will be locked up. White likely gets third place, because black will m most likely kill pink before killing white. White is giving up. He must have checked out of the game, yeah. So now the bot breaks me. That's unfortunate. One more. Open my 16. No! <laughs> that would have been ideal if it opened my 16. That ain't a whole lot to waste. He's only got 30 to hit, and he's going to get 6 cards. So he could recoup 20 if he gets two big sets. He's only going to be slightly behind me. A lot of his troops aren't active, though, so we're going to be able to slam into him first. Yeah, it won't even get to me, Pink. Black's going to kill you. Black is going to kill you. Unless he takes too much time thinking. Black's spending an awful lot of time thinking. But he's got 120 seconds, which is like an eternity on this map. He's probably trying to figure out, how does he win? Because I am in the lead by quite a bit. Killing both of those. Black puts troops up here. He's not going to go for the kills. What? He doesn't go for the kills. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'm going to kill white first. Because I need to end on this side of the map. We get the dice. Black needed me to make these kills. We're going to take a risk. Good. Six, five, four, three. Didn't need that many. That's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit dice. I mean cards. Crap cards. We got crap cards here. I'm not going to have enough to hit black. I'm not going to have enough to hit black. Well, we'll be able to hit black a little bit. We got it. Good game, Pink. Good game. Appreciate that. Hmm. Let's hope for some good attacker's advantage. That was not a good attacker's advantage. Let's go there with that. All right, so we have a definite advantage here. 
Black opted for second place. Hey, I don't see how he can get first. There's, there's basically no way he can get first. We do have a big trade, too. So we'll probably be close to being able to end this on this next turn. He's going to knock us down a bunch in territories. Probably break all of our bonuses. But we're still going to have a decent number of territories. Why not Brazil? Yeah, I guess I could have put it in Brazil. I was thinking I put it somewhere where I can follow him. I didn't want him getting a good attacker's advantage on me. That was why not Brazil. So there's two there's two trains of thought. I stack it right in front of him and force him to hit the big stack, not have very many troops left over to break everything else. But if he gets a really good attacker's advantage, I lose a lot of attacking troops and he can still go and break all my bonuses. So either one, I think, is a is an okay approach to do. You just got to hope to get lucky if you stack everything in front of him. And I could have got lucky. You know, it wasn't necessarily a bad choice if I opted to try to get lucky. All right, so we got attackers there. I think I can clear them out. Yeah, we got it. Let's hope for some good dice. Let's uh, make sure we get good dice. So we're doing our slider blitz to ensure that we get good dice. We got plenty of time to move it on this map. The slider blitz allows us to risk the least number of troops and ensure a 100% victory. Got it. Good game. Well played. And that's a GG. Boom. Win number five in a row. Too smart for this game? I don't think so. <laughs> There's definitely better players than me at this game. I'm We do we do pretty good though. We hold our own. White was a master. White was a master. So <laughs> I think White thought when I moved up against him that he was dead. And if he fed Pink to me, that I would kill Pink first. Although not me, black. He probably figured black would kill pink first. Black is a novice though. Black didn't recognize that he he basically has a massive advantage if he kills black, kills pink and then white. He owns the whole board. He gets potentially 20 extra troop, troops from the trade-ins. And he goes into the end game with me almost even. Instead, he let me get the kills, which left me 30 troops up at the end game white that was the worst thing for white to have happen because i needed to end my turn with all my troops pointed at black which meant i had to attack white first <laughs> so interesting interesting choice i think white made the right play expecting that he could get third place not fourth with that move potentially even second potentially even second because if i had enough troops or if one of us had enough troops Maybe we go and kill, maybe we go after the other big guy first before going after white. But white was on three cards. So most likely as a master, he probably figured he was going to be getting third place instead of fourth place. All right, we're up to 20,930. Let's go here. Track our progress, 2930. And that is win number 24 for a record of 24 and 8 and a 75% win rate.